Hey guys, how's it going? Elliot here again. In today's video, we're going to be building a Game Boy Light out of a Game Boy Pocket. I know that sounds pretty absurd, but I've got a few things that's going to make this really, really cool. Um, so without any further ado, let's get straight into it. So the first thing we're going to be doing is taking apart the Game Boy Pocket. This was a Game Boy Pocket that I got from Japan for you. As you can see, the screen is um, burnt, but there's not really too much I'm going to be able to do about that in today's video. Um, I'll fix that at a later stage. But what we're going to start off by doing is just taking the whole Game Boy apart. Um, it's quite clean, it's not too bad, um, so I'm just going to strip this all, all apart just using a tri-wing screwdriver. This is what's practically worth the most in Game Boy Pockets. Um, you can pick Game Boy Pockets up for relatively cheap, um, but they're very, very cheap if the screen is damaged, which this one is. As you can see, um, it's got a burn on the screen there, and that's just the front polarizer, and then it's also got the leaking um, pixels around the side, which isn't too great. But all the more reason for us to do this mod, um, because that basically means that you know it's, it's already um, slightly damaged, so the, the risk of it damaging doesn't really matter too much, because, um, Damaging even more, sorry, because it's already quite damaged. So what we're going to do is start off by just taking the tape off that's on the uh, the ribbon cable. You just need to be really, really careful when um, when using anything around this that you don't um, rip the cable or anything like that. Um, speaking of using stuff around this, we're going to be taking out your knife, and then what we're going to do is just gently slide it underneath the corner of the um, the polarizer film. Um, I don't believe I've actually done a Game Boy Pocket uh, backlight on on film before, so. Uh, this should be interesting. And what you really want to make sure you're doing is lifting up the um, the polarizer film underneath as well, not just the reflective layer. Okay, so just take out a nice little corner like that, and then you can put the knife away, lift up that corner, and you'll be able to see straight away if the polarizer's come off because it's kind of a, um, a greeny kind of color. Otherwise, it would just be like a tin foil reflective color. Um, now, you'll get older screens that come off really, really easy. The uh, the piece on the back comes off really, really easy. Um, or you can get ones that are going to be really, really stubborn. This one apparently seems to be quite an easy one, which is really relieving. And just like that, the polarizer film is off, and as is the reflector film. Pretty happy with that, it came off really nice and easy. Doesn't look like there's any re residue left underneath, uh, which is good. Once the polarizer film and reflective layer are off, what you want to do is just take like a Q-tip and a little bit of isopropyl alcohol. I keep talking about isopropyl alcohol, it's really something that you should have in your collection of um, cleaning supplies if you're going to be um, cleaning Game Boys regularly. Just dip a Q-tip or a cotton bud or whatever you want to call it. Um, in the isopropyl alcohol and just put it over where the residue is. Um, in my case, there's only residue up in the top right-hand corner because that's where I used the knife so the glue um, didn't come off um, massively cleanly. And then just give it a little clean and it will rub straight off. So that is going to move us on to the shell. What we're going to be doing is uh, cleaning this up and making it look the way I want to. The first thing we're actually going to be doing is removing the um, little piece of sticky um, stuff here because the backlight is obviously a lot thicker than the reflective film, so you want any uh, any room you can up here. I'm also going to be taking off the uh, the screen lens. Uh, you can do this with a hairdryer or some hot water or something, um, but I'm just going to do it um, cold, just like that. It will come off in one nice piece, and you can actually reuse these if it's not damaged. Um, I've, it's going to make more sense in a minute while I've, uh, while I've taken that off. Um, and now we're going to be taking the uh, the back part and just giving it a nice clean. Next. 
next thing we're going to do is take some wires. These are going to be for the uh, the backlight that we're going to install. Uh, just trim off the uh, the ends to expose a bit of the metal underneath. When you cut these wires up, you don't want to have too much metal um, sticking out of the uh, the top because you don't want it to come in contact with anything else. Just enough to uh, attach, which brings us on to our backlight. Now this backlight was supplied to me by Deadpan Robot. I'll leave their link and my uh, referral code in the description, which will give you a 10% off discount. Um, as you can see, this is one of their new ones. It's got their logo on it. It's a really, really cool um, design. I'm, I'm really vibing it. Um, clearly states as well the positive but the negative, which is as well what you want in your sandwich. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is take some solder and your soldering iron and just fill up the, the pad there with a bit of solder. Uh, you don't need too much. It's only two little small wires, um, just enough to to be able to put the wires on and then go ahead and do so. Uh, you might want to use like color coding wires at red and, um, and black, but as I said, I've got no more wire, so this is gonna have to do. Okay, and after you've done that, we're gonna go ahead and remove the, uh, the film. Don't get any dust on it, that's not what you want. Uh, take your, your um, piece of, the, the front piece of plastic and your screen and what we're going to do is slide this underneath the back like so and it will just slot in there nicely and then we're also going to take the uh, the polarizer film which will come with your backlight from deadpan robot um, you're just going to go ahead and peel both the uh, protective pieces of plastic off it either side okay that's the uh, the by the uh, the backlight there installed and then we're just going to flip everything over and put it down you might want to actually take that piece of tape that was uh, that was provided on the Game Boy before, or you can take a fresh one, I'm just being lazy, and stick that back down once the backlight is in place. Uh, that's just so that we can um, keep it there and it doesn't move around. And just like that, it's looking good already. Now what we're going to do is feed the wires around in a nice, uh, neat fashion, just underneath. Make sure you're keeping track of which one's positive and which one is negative. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to take our board, you can take a little bit of isopropyl alcohol on a Q-tip and rub those contacts as well if they are um, if they're dirty or if this is a more used Game Boy than my one. Reattach the ribbon cable like so. Next up, we're going to reattach the screws into the um, the bottom piece. You don't have to put them all in, but I'm going to go ahead and do so because I'm comfortable. But we're not going to have to open this up again. And now what we're going to do is solder them to two of the points on the board. So the positive one is going to go to number five pin, which is just here. And then the negative one is going to go to the point which is actually on the board um, labeled as negative just there. What I actually wound up doing was installing a resistor into the, uh, the circuit um, because the backlight was drawing too much power. Um, I also had to change the point that I soldered it to. Um, I needed to solder it to 0.4, not 0.5. So now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is put the last bits of screws back in and then we'll be able to assemble everything. But before I do that, I just wanna say a quick thank you to uh, SJM4306. Again, Sean is on Skype right now. Say hi, Sean. Sean? Sean! Come here! So uh, thank you very much to Sean. I'm actually on Skype with him now. Say hi, Sean. Thank you guys. Hi there, YouTube. Okay, that's enough, Sean.
that's going to be it then for this video. I'm really, really happy with how this has turned out. Um, I'm comfortable this is probably going to be my daily player now for, uh, for Game Boy games. Um, I think it looks really, really nice with that Game Boy Light screen. And it uh, definitely looks similar to the original Game Boy Light. Um, I don't really feel like a buy butt chip is necessary on a Game Boy Pocket. Um, but if you guys want to see a video of me installing one of those, then let me know, let me know in the, uh, the comments. Thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.